best friend welcome welcome back to my channel girl i hope you guys are having a really really good day if this is the first time that you're watching my channel my name is sebastian and i welcome you all with open arms listen i wanted to give you guys a little bit more of like a cozy type tea video you guys know usually i'm singing dancing screaming yelling but i've seen some of your guys' comments saying like it would be cute if you did a little like calm tea video once in a while so i was like girl i'm gonna do one and i'm gonna change of the background a little bit i'm gonna get a little more cozy wear this sweater even though it's 100 degrees outside bitch but i wanted to give you guys sort of like a vibe gilmore girl type vibe like we're on a facetime call so anyways girl hope you enjoy it it's not gonna be everyday girl because you know i'm a mess and i love to yell scream sing dance and do all the tea okay and be messy but anyways girl listen right we gotta talk about justin baldoni and blake lively because best friend the drama for it ends with us as we know Girl, or as I like to call it, girl, girl, the drama took a damn Viagra, bitch. It just won't go down, okay, bitch? Listen. So, it is like a ping pong match, okay? Oh, by the way, I asked ChatGBT to write me a pop song about paparazzi and friends and gratitude and light. The song, girl, it could be a Billboard number one song. I'm going I'm to put it for you guys in the end of this video, girl. It is too much. ChatGBT is a mess and I love it. Anyways, girl, listen, right? Um, it's sort of been like a ping pong match, bitch. It's like, girl, where am I? It's giving Hannah Montana, okay? Justin Baldoni's getting bad, bad press. Then Blake Lively's getting 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 bad press. And Blake Lively's getting bad press. And Blake Lively's getting bad press. <sighs> Especially after the Justin Baldoni letter to survivors and to victims of DV, his fame and his popularity and support skyrocketed okay and so much that we can actually see it on social media so i'm going to show you guys here the analytics for justin baldoni's insta so in the past 30 days 680,000 people started following justin that's sort of like when the drama first started right well just this week, okay, from Saturday to today. Saturday, 5,000 people. Sunday, 7,000 people. Monday, 6,000 people. Tuesday, 5,000. Wednesday, two, almost 3,000 people. Thursday, 3,000 people. Friday, 2,000 people, okay? You guys can see right here, best friend, that it has skyrocketed, okay? 680,000 people followed him. On a daily, he averages almost 23,000 new followers, okay? His letter to the victims and DV, whether you believe all the drama on the set or you believe that, you know, the whole Blake Lively drama thing happened, his letter I found to be so important and so sort of like a, hey, you guys, stop focusing on this and please focus on what really is behind the meaning of making this movie from this book. And it's to shed a spotlight on DV, which is incredibly important and incredibly uh, refreshing to see that Hollywood would put a spotlight on something that affects millions. Now, Blake Lively, best friend. I'm gonna put it right here. It's looking very different than Blake Lively, than Justin Baldoni's. So the past week, it's all been red. Sunday, almost 9,000 people unfollowed her. Monday, 10,000 people unfollowed her. Tuesday, 5,000 people. Wednesday, 2,000 people. And this is only updated till Thursday, so 2,000 people. She, in the last 30 days, she also got 641,000 new followers. Justin Baldoni got 680, so it's a 40,000 difference. And daily, she has 22,699 who, oh, sorry, that's Justin Baldoni. Daily, she has 21,376 new followers, and Justin has 22,700. So I really do believe that this is the beginning of a lot of people kind of turning their backs on Blake Lively. And I think that the message of the movie 
because of the box office uh, success, I wouldn't say that the drama of the movie or surrounding the movie was affecting the numbers because the box office was like almost 300 million and it was 23 million to make the budget of the movie. So to be honest, like, yeah, the drama could have definitely, you know, ruined the chances of this movie and the chances of having such an important message be, you know, echoed around the world. But it didn't really hurt the movie, if you will. I know that some people would go in just to see the chemistry between Justin and Blake. But as a DV survivor and victim myself, I went to see... I didn't know what I was going to see, to be very honest. And when I left that movie theater, I went with my best friend, who she's also a DV survivor. And we both had a moment of... We related to some things, you know, maybe not all the floral uh, outfits, but there were some parts, you know, maybe like the narcissism, the, the obviously the abuse itself, so many things, the isolation, the speaking, you know, when you're speaking, interrupting you, putting you down, so many little things that I believe they did a really good job showing it. So I'm glad that the drama didn't affect it, but I just don't know when there's a next Blake Lively movie coming out. I'm not sure how it's going to do. So I'll keep you guys updated with how the social media aspect goes, because that's how you really tell if a celebrity is popping or not. So stay tuned for that, best friend. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you guys like this sort of like peaceful vibe. Maybe I could do a couple of them, you know, maybe like on a Sunday or something, but just kind of testing it out. Uh, you guys know I have, uh, my personality is very loud and very big and I sing and I dance and I do all these things, but I just felt like, you know what, girl, let me do like a calmer one and see if you guys like it. So anyways, this is the pop song that I asked ChatGPT to write to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Best friend, I am having way too much fun with ChatGPT, bitch, okay? I just did the manifesting. If you guys want to know how to do it, let me know in the comments below. But I asked ChatGPT to write me a song, right? And I said, can you write me a song that includes getting ready with my girls, feeling fabulous, being grateful and thankful, paparazzi following us, and no time for the haters. <gasps> Best friend, look at the song. Okay, so I'm just going to add like my little beat, right? So it says verse one. Woke up in the morning, sun shining bright. Got my girls by my side. We're ready to ignite. Mirrors on fire. We're looking so fine. Putting on the glam. Yeah, it's our time to shine. And then the pre-chorus is, we're painting the town in our favorite hues. Feeling fabulous. Got no time to lose. Every moment's golden. Every laugh's a spark. We're living for today. Lighting up the dark. Chorus. Getting ready with my girls. We're feeling so hot. Paparazzi flashing lights as we reach the sky. Grateful for the love. Thankful for the ride. No time for the haters. We're living our best life. What? Oh my god. Okay, verse two, right? <clears throat> Stri okay, oh my god. This is this is like way too good, bitch. I would like fucking dance to this song. Okay, so Strutting through the crowd, we're turning heads. The city's our runway, dancing on the edge. From the red carpet to the stars above, we're writing our story, fueled by our love. We're painting the town in our favorite hues, feeling fabulous, got no time to lose. Every moment's golden, every laugh's a spark. We're living for today, lighting up in the dark. And then the chorus again, right? Getting ready with my girls, we're feeling so high. Paparazzi fashion lights as we reach the sky. Grateful for the love, thankful for the ride. No time for the haters, we're living our best life. And then the bridge, right? So it's like, the bridge is like kind of like singing. So it's like, they can try to bring us down, but we are flying so high. With my girls, there's nothing. No, that sucks. Hang on, let me try again. Like, Okay, so it'll be like, um... They, I want to do it like dramatic. So it'd be like, um, <clears throat> I need to think of like a chorus. Like, they can try to bring us down, but we're flying so high. And then like a lot of like chorus behind me, right? Like a lot of vocals. And so as it goes, with my girls, there's nothing we can try. <sighs> 
Do the highs and the lows where dancing on air in this fabulous life were beyond compare. <gasps> oh my God! Getting ready with my girls, we're feeling so high. Paparazzi flashing lights as we reach the sky. Grateful for the love, thankful for the ride. No time for the haters, we're living our best life. Okay, so the outro. So, here's to the moments the laughter, the cheers. We're writing our story year after year. With my girls by my side, we're shining so bright. In this fabulous world, everything's just right. <laughs> I need to record this song right now, bitch. Oh my God, this is amazing. Like, no, this is like freaking amazing. <gasps> I am in love with Chad GBT, period, period. Would you guys stream this song if I released it, girl? Oh my God, with my girls by my side, we're shining so bright. In this fabulous world, everything's just right. <gasps> okay, tell me what I should Chad GBT next, bitch, because I am on fire, girl. Make sure to hit that follow button.